But you also see right in between, there's a few mistakes where he went through and he corrected. So even right here, Iron Fist's arm is a little off. Hello, Steve from Cantu Comics here. Today, we've got another episode, and this one is gonna focus on how can you spot fake original comic art from real original comic art. Oh, just the sound alone gives it away. So let's check it out. So let's start out with blue line scans versus blue line pencil. So right here on this example, so this is a Black Panther issue nine, page six. So this one right here is a blue line scan. So what happened here was the original pencils were scanned, sent over to the inker, and then the inker took it inside Photoshop, switched it to blue, printed it. So another giveaway is right here. This is one of those Joe Kubert art store artboards. And then they just printed the artboard scan. So obviously it's got marble. This is all there from the original. Uh, so that alone right there, that's, that's one indicator that, you know, that's not the original pencils. Uh, but this one is still original art. It's just original inks. So blue line scan, it is a scan. So that part is printed. So the pencils are printed uh, and then they inked right over it. Uh, this particular piece, they also, I believe in Photoshop, he already laid down his blocks. So with the toner, he already printed the blocks on here. So he didn't have to use that much ink. So he only had to use the parts inside. From here, you can also tell from the ink. Uh, you can also look at it from the light. You could just see the different strokes. The other way to tell if it's a pencil or a blue line scan is the pencil, obviously there's pressure when the pencil is you know, going onto the paper. So you will see little grooves. Uh, you won't see that on this one because it's flat. So that is because it's printed, it's gonna be flat on here. Plus the pencil also has a waxy texture to it. So when you see the actual pencil, uh, you could get almost like you could feel it has a texture as opposed to just being super flat. Another way to tell is when you're printing with like a laser jet, it has toner, so it has a sheen to it. So you could probably tell a little bit from here and I'll have some B-roll showing, um, but it has a gleam to it, whereas ink does not have that gleam. All right, so this next one, uh, this is a pencil piece. So how can you tell if it's pencil or print? Well, this one right here, pencil is graphite. So you can definitely tell if the page itself has some smears on it and you touch it and your fingers get a little dirty, that's already an indicator that it is real, so that there's pencils on it. Uh, the other big one, um, you can also look at it from different angles, is uh, what I mentioned earlier with the, uh, the blue pencil, is that these pencils leave pressure marks. So you can look in like light, you can also sometimes look on the back, uh, if they pressed really hard and the paper was thin, you'd be able to see it from the back. Um, but you just, you could just look from the edges and you'll see grooves like, you know, almost like on a dollar bill, you see the texture. So it's the same way here with the intricate pencil lines, you see it digging into the paper a bit. And then the graphite also has a little bit of a sheen to it. So they definitely tell if it's pencils. Uh, obviously if you have glasses, you know, like myself, if you're nearsighted, you could take them off and like take a look. However is your best way of looking up close. You wanna do that because you almost wanna see straight to the fibers. You wanna get really, really deep in there. Uh, most pencils are pretty obvious, but for some people you're gonna wanna get a really, really good look. Um, so yeah, these, I mean, these are impeccable. I mean, John Boy Myers, he's a great penciler. Um, very, very clean lines. Uh, so at first glance, someone could think that this was a print because even this page is super clean. Um, whereas I have, actually, I guess I'll show you right now. I have this other pencil. Uh, pencil and ink where you could see all these like dirty smudges on the side from all the graphite um, That's also another indicator right there that you know, this is real and I'll get to this one in a second All right, now let's go over this one. So this is an inked piece. This does have the original pencils on it So to be able to tell if you have the ink and pencils you have to look really close along the lines So this one is a really good example because uh, like I mentioned earlier you see all the smudge marks on the sides uh, but you also see right in between, there's a few mistakes where, you know, the penciler, uh, he went through and he corrected. So even right here, Iron Fist's arm is a little off. So he drew it a little lower, but then he fixed it to go in further up. So you could see some of these old lines, um, even this one right here, um, you got some of his shoulder and like parts of his cape that were in different directions. Um, it's really, really, it's pretty obvious, at least to, to my eyes, but, but to the early person, you have to really take a look. 
Um, another indicator is also whiteout. So if you do notice a lot of whiteout and stuff, then you're gonna know, oh yeah, this you know this is real. And um, yeah, there's also gonna be some little dirty marks. Sometimes there's little coffee stains. So also take a look at that. You know, most people know what like a coffee or tea stain look like as opposed to just a printed one. Uh, so just make sure to take a look, see all the fine details, and, um, and then you'll be good to go. So for the last one, uh, it's mixed media and paints. So I don't have like original comic art that's painted, but I just have this little painting here, you know, that was on my wall. Uh, I took this little guy off. Uh, so how you want to tell from this is texture. That's 100%. So if something's painted, there's going to be texture from the brush strokes on there. Uh, when there's a print, like I mentioned, it's just flat. You'll see little dot matrix like ink droplets on there. Uh, paint, you do not get that. It's just straight, you know, it was from the, the brush. It just went right on the canvas. And when you just look at it at different angles, you can even look at it sideways. And you're gonna see little grooves and bumps uh, from the brush strokes. So that's just gonna totally give it away. And, um, you know, just shine a little bit of light on it. Just a little light goes a long ways. If it's uh, casting some shadows, then you know it's real. All right, well, that's some quick tips right here about how to tell if your original comic book art is real or not. Um, there are some other ways, but this is the pretty much like the main things that you're gonna come across. So as long as you're just, you know, doing your due diligence, making sure you're spending some time looking, uh, obviously in person is the best. Uh, when you're buying stuff on auctions, if it's a reputable auction house, of course, you know, they already have some professionals looking at it. But when you're buying from eBay, you know, it could get a little sketchy. So also make sure about uh, to check the, the seller, make sure that their feedback is really strong. If they have 100%, then you know they're not selling fake stuff. Um, but at the same time, try to get as many good pictures as you can. Sometimes they do offer pictures at angles, so they'll kind of show you that this is real. Uh, otherwise, you can also message them. Uh, but I mean, I've had pretty good luck on, on uh, eBay, um, but you never know. Like there are, if, it, if something's priced really low, it's gonna be fake. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. There is production art as well, which is just like stats, copies. That's, that's a whole nother beast. Um, but obviously they're not gonna command the same price as original comic art. So hopefully you learned some of the key differences between a fake printed and the real original art. So go ahead and go forth, you know, buy your next pieces of the confidence and let me know what you think in the comments. All right, see you later.